Hi guys, welcome back to this series on machine learning use cases with machine learning kit from Google. So in this video, we are going to see how we can easily and quickly hide faces or draw over them using the face contour feature in ML kit. So you can see two examples here, one where I have drawn a smiley. Uh, this is an existing image which you can reuse uh, over, a, it's over a face. And the second one where we have drawn a translucent oval uh over the face so this is using canvas and this is using an existing drawable so the code is already updated as always in the github you can directly start using it uh not much changes we have a very small uh, processor a very simple activity and some changes in the face graphic which we use to display the faces now what we are using here is the face contour features basically we are asking mlk to detect the face and then also to mark all the contours so we get the positions of all these elements and to make the oval what we do is we in the contour type of face so basically face will give us all these points which are marked in blue so we find the minimum uh, x and the max x and using the top and the bottom we construct an oval which looks like this so this is the bounding box of the face but this is the oval that we require we don't require more than that that is why we are trying to use the face contour feature if you don't want to do face contour, you can actually just use the bounding box of the face and just draw a circle over it or any other pixelation or even small, small circles to hide it. Now, please note that this is running. The example that I have developed is a video uh, helper activity. So it will be running on video. It might be a little lagging. So if you move the face too fast, it might not be able to catch up, but it will work perfectly fine with any images. So let's deep dive into the code. Uh, so this is the obscure face activity uh, very simple we have also defined this obscure type which has none smiley and translucent for all other examples the obscure type will be none so that they don't mess with it and for this example we have used smiley and translucent so you can change it here on line number 17 and in the face processor uh, we are asking google that we don't want classification uh, we don't want to know whether he's smiling or blinking uh, we just want the contour and the performance mode is accurate and uh, you can actually skip tracking if you want it's just here so once we get the image uh, we convert it using the preview image and uh, the rotations that we are getting from the camera to uh, input image and then finally finally we run the detector on that so this detector is the face detector which is defined here so once the face is detected for all the faces we will define the obscure type now once the obscure type is defined it is up to the face graphic so if the obscure type is smiley we tell the canvas to draw the bitmap which is the smiley bitmap all over the face bounding box uh, smiley bitmap is the this drawable that i have already loaded in the android project you can use any other image what you just have the bitmap ready so it is fast and you can draw it uh, quickly and if the obscure type is translucent we have little work to do so we create a paint object this also can be done and kept initially uh, we're using 240 as the alpha value so to be between 0 and 255 and then the paint style is fill and stroke and the color is white and then we find the as i said we find the minimum x and the max x and then we translate so that it is positioned right at top of the face and then we draw an oval using the rectangle that we have created here the top and bottom are same as the face bounding box where the face is present uh, this is given by mlk itself only the left and right is what we are using uh, the contour to find out so very simple code changes not much and this is as before if the obscure type is none and we have the contours available it will draw a dots on all around your face that code remains the same it is now available on github and please do let me know if you have any doubts or if you need anything thank you for watching